Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, we shall try to see how we can solve simple example problems using properties of exponents. In here, we will try to solve the first property of determinants. And then in here, we the first property we said the determinant of the product AB of a matrices A times B is going to be equal to the determinant of the individual individual matrices, determinant of A times the determinant of B. So this is the first property we had and we will prove this with a simple example. And in this example, let us say matrix A has elements of this nature, negative 2, 1, 4 and negative 2. We'll take a simple example like this and then matrix B is going to be 1, 1, 0, negative 1. And here we will call this as uh, we will call the first, let, let, let's do this, step number 1. Step number 1, let me write it clear here. Step 1, we will first find out the, we will find the determinant of AB first. And to do that, we want to find the product of AB first. We want to find the product of matrix A times B. And how do we do that? We take negative 2, 1, 4, negative 2, that is matrix A, and then multiply that by matrix B, 1, 1, 0, negative 1. And when we expand this one out, this is how it's going to come. Uh, the way we do the multiplication is we take the row of the first matrix multiplied to the column of the second matrix. We take the row of the first matrix and then multiply to the uh, column of the second matrix and this is how it's going to come up. So let, us, let me show that in here. We have done matrix multiplications before. We're going to use that matrix multiplication technique here to be able to get the product of AB. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 plus 1 times 0 is 0. That is the first element of the product matrix. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 plus 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. That is the second element of the product matrix. Then we go to the second row. 4 times 1 is 4 negative plus negative 2 times 0 is 0. Positive 0 and negative 0 means the same, so therefore I put a positive 0. 4 times 1 is 4, and negative 2 times negative 1 is going to be equal to negative of negative 2 times negative 1 is going to be equal to positive 1. So we got all the elements of the product matrix, and uh, we can write it in a much simpler manner, and that is going to be negative 2 negative 2 plus negative 1 is going to be equal to negative 3 and then 4 plus 0 is 4 and then 4 minus 4 minus 1 in here uh, in this element here 4 times 1 is 4 and then negative 2 times negative 1 is going to be equal to this should be a positive 2 let me get that this should be a positive 2. This should be 4 plus 2. So 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. Okay. So we got all we got we got the product uh, matrix and therefore we want to find the determinant of the product matrix. Uh, how do we find that? The determinant we can represent as two lines on either side like that is equal to negative 2 negative 3, 4, and 6. We want to find the determinant of this. And the, the way to find the determinant we said was we multiply the major diagonal uh, elements and then write them down here. And when we do that, that product is going to be negative 2 times 6 minus, and we're going to take the minor product elements, multiply them out, and then write it out here and that is going to be 4 times negative 3 and therefore when we simplify this that's going to come out as negative 2 times 6 is negative 12 and then 
negative 4 times negative uh, 3 is going to be equal to positive 12 and then negative 12 and positive 12 are going to go to 0 and therefore the determinant of the product matrix is, the value is equal to 0 we found the left hand side uh, we we found the left hand side of the property which says determinant of ab uh, we we found that next we're going to do the the right hand side of it and the right hand side of it is telling us that determinant of a times determinant of b and that's what we need to find and the product of that will that go to zero we'll find out to do that we'll first find the determinant of a we'll do one at a time and then we'll find the determinant of b next determinant of a is the elements of the matrix a is negative two one four and negative two isn't it if you look at the top of the page you'll see that is is equal to we multiply the we, we multiply the major diagonal elements negative two times negative two and then multiply the elements along the minor diagonal four times one and therefore when we simplify this negative two times negative two is positive four and then four times one is four with a negative sign four minus four is equal to zero so we'll keep that then we'll come to the determinant we want to find determinant b we know the matrix b which is one 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 zero negative one and therefore if we were to write the elements down here one one zero negative one we want to find the determinant of this and therefore we multiply the major diagonal elements one times negative one minus zero this is the product of the minor uh, minor diagonal elements zero times one when we simplify this one times negative one is negative one and then 0 times 1 is 0 and therefore we have a negative 1 and what we need to find here is that determinant of A times determinant of B determinant of A we found that as 0 and then times the determinant of B is negative 1 therefore 0 times negative 1 is equal to 0 and therefore this proves our point that that the determinant of the product AB is going to be equal to determinant of A times determinant of B. We have proved the first property successfully. And this is the way we want to be able to use the properties of determinants to be able to uh, solve simple example problems. In my next presentation, we will see some more examples related to uh, using the properties of uh, determinants and then solving them.